y'all to new fans, my name is JC Gaspar and I'm so excited to introduce my first video in my series Perfect Pairings with JC. From the Altenew website, Alt translates into old in German, and thus Altenew represents the juxtaposition of classical and contemporary designs. The idea behind this video series is that I will showcase one new product from this current month's release and pair it with an old gem from the Altenew store. One that you still love or will grow to love with a fresh perspective. So with that being said, come along with me as I show you how I made this card using a stamp set that I found in my Altenew stash. From the October 2019 Stamp Die Stencil release is this 6x8 stamp set called Delicate Tiles. I love this beautiful layered tile set and the modern sentiments. There is one sentiment however that sparked the idea for this card, and it is good things take time. I wanted to pair this phrase with something that symbolized growth like a flower stamp, which of course Altenew has many, but today I instead paired it with a different plant, succulents. Here is a 4x6 stamp set, Altenew succulents. The idea was that the clean lines from the delicate tiles would pair well with the sketchy illustration of the succulents. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick my colors. The layering guide on the back of your Altenew trifolds is helpful in finding just the right image. I don't want to work too hard in layering these images, so I'm going to pick the final image that only takes three layering stamps instead of four to make my tiles. So the mini ink cubes I used for this image are on the left of the stamps I will be using. Blush and Rouge come from Altenew Red Sunset family of inks, and Morning Frost comes from Warm Gray. I'll bring out my mini Misty and in it, I have a panel of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by four and a quarter. This square shape is going to help me make a bunch of tiles quickly. I'll show you what I mean by that here. So with blush and my stamp lined up at the top right corner of my stamp positioning tool, I'll ink and stamp the image as normal. Instead of removing the stamp, I'll rotate the white cardstock panel clockwise and then ink and stamp the image again. I'll repeat this two more times to get four images from one panel. I'll make four panels all together with a total of 16 tiles, but spoiler alert, that was way more than I needed. So then I'll grab my next color, Morning Frost, and position the next layering image in my stamp positioning tool. I'll do the same thing as before, stamping and rotating this panel, then switching the panel for the next, so on and so forth. As long as you are pushing and aligning your paper to the top and right ruler of your MISTI, you will get nearly identical images every time. So about 20 years later, <laughs> here are the four panels and the three inks I used for the tiles. Now, off camera, I spent the next 60 years cutting these tiles out. <laughs> I used a square die that cuts about one and a half inches or 38 millimeters metric. I'll set these square tiles aside and begin work on the succulents. In my Misty again, I've got the Aloe, Hawarthia, uh, Tulista. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. So I'm just going to call it the Hawarthia image. And I'll stamp the large potted plant in Altenew Permanent Black ink. This ink is alcohol marker safe and will not bleed. I'm going to bring you all a little closer for the coloring portion of this video. I am using Altenew Artist Marker Set D, and later I will bring in Set B. But for now, I am coloring the leaves of the succulents using Set D. I'm going to speed this portion up, and I'll see you all in a bit.
Before die cutting these images, I'll add white splatters to the final colored Hoartheas. I think adding white splatters will give a more playful look to these succulents. It easily adds highlights, and of course, it's a simple way to hide coloring mistakes. I love using Altenew Pure White Ink Spray diluted with a bit of water and a fine tipped water brush to add splatters. Once the splatters are dry, I'll use the coordinating steel die cut to cut out the succulent image and my mini blossom die cutting machine from Altenew. Now that I have most of the pieces to this card, I'll begin assembling the background. I have a panel of blush cardstock already adhered to my note card base, and I've marked the center of this panel lightly with a pencil. What I'm going to do is arrange the tiles in a diamond configuration with a small margin in between to act as grout between the tiles. To help keep the tiles straight all the way around, I'm using a ruler to make sure the lines of the tiles are all parallel. My background is in science, so I'm just a little bit compulsive when it comes to this kind of stuff. With a pattern like this, it'll be easy to see where there's uneven spacing. So I am taking the time to make sure the tiles are all placed nicely. In total, I only needed 11 tiles since I was able to use the trimmings from overhanging tiles. Before I finish the background, I've added some gold splatters the same way I added the white splatters to bring a shiny element to this card. While that's drying, I'll bring back the succulents and arrange a focal point on my card. I've arranged the succulent images in a triangular formation, just to bring in more implied shapes to this card. Before I add these succulents to this vellum piece, by the way I use the largest circle from the halftone circles nesting die set, I will add a bit of embroidery floss to the back of the succulents. I already prepped the sentiment off camera. I stamped the good things take time sentiment on two panels. I white heat emboss the good things portion of the sentiment with Altenew Pure White crisp embossing powder. Then I stamped the take time portion on some scrap peach cardstock in Altenew Jet Black ink. I adhered the sentiment strip down first, making sure I will not cover the sentiment with the succulents. After trimming down the excess of the sentiment strip, I brought in the succulent focal point and raised it on craft foam for some dimension. I also raised the good things piece on foam squares and placed it close to the take time sentiment strip so that it reads as one cohesive sentence. The very last thing I did was add some dimensional drops to balance out the black of the sentiment. These dimensional drops are from Altenew Greenfields and coordinate with the Greenfields family of inks. And that's how I combined the Altenew Delicate Tile Stamp Set with Altenew Succulent Stamp and Die Set. Thank you so much to Altenew for the privilege to join the video inspiration team and inspire you just as Therese, Aram, and Lydia have in their video series. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if this is your first time to the Altenew channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching Perfect Pairings with JC. I'll see you in the next one.